Let's shift gears across the country to the Padres and Dodgers series, which was unbelievable. <laughs> was, again, the, the Dodgers lost three games to one in this series. The Padres came through somehow in, and beat them three to one. And I say somehow, I mean, it, it makes sense if you're watching the games because right. they just got beat. Like it, yeah. it was, it was just a simple. So, and that's the thing is that we talked about the Dodgers who play clinical baseball, right? It's technically accurate. It's technically sound. And somehow all of the mojo and all of the young fire and energy that slam Diego brought to the table really did just beat them. It is astonishing. Yeah. Jake Cronenworth, seven for 16 with five RBIs and a home run. Manny Machado went five for 14 with two or with a double home run, two RBIs and three walks. It's October Manny. Manny is a revelation every <laughs> single time we watch him play at this point. It's like so we, funny. Like I'm, I'm, I'm just going to beat this horse to death, Brig, and continue to beat it after it's dead. That Manny Machado continues to be overlooked as a player, especially in October. Because well, it, yeah, man, two, was it 2019? He was the only one who showed up to the World Series for the Dodgers. The only one. I think him and Chris Taylor, maybe, but Manny Machado was the only one. And instead, people are killing him for not running out of ground ball to shortstop. It's like he's producing everywhere else. <laughs> Give exactly. the guy a break on a routine exactly. ground ball. <laughs> Yeah, so he he's been great. Let me just pull up his playoff performances right now. So this season, out of four games, fourteen abs, uh, he's hitting three fifty seven, four seventy one, six forty three. His OPS is one 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 point one one three. He's had nine total bases to his name, and uh, two home runs on top of that, which we've already mentioned. But I mean, like his season career, his WAR this season is six point eight. Do you know what his career WAR is, Brad? Just guess. I honestly have no idea. He's probably up in the 20s, maybe low 30s. 52. Holy cow. His career war is 52. Anyway, the end. Manny Machado is the real deal. Yes. And his attitude used to suck, but it doesn't anymore. It's awesome now. He's definitely, he's matured. He's matured a ton since he's gone to the West Coast, and it's been, it's been big time. It's been huge for him and the and the Padres and the Dodgers when he was there. Like I said, it's yeah. a big deal. But anyway, speaking of the Dodgers, they were they struggled big time this series. They got the one win, but other than that, they only hit four home runs in in the four games. Trey Turner hit two of them, right? Freddie Freeman and Max Muncy each hit one. So there's your four right there. Yeah, Justin Turner, who you would expect to show out for a for a series like this was two for 13. Chris Taylor, your October guy in LA was zero for seven. They pay him to play in October. That's right. He's typically a utility and situational guy for the Dodgers, but they pay him to show up in October and he didn't. And then Mookie Betts, speaking of paying somebody was two for 14. The three of them combined for one RBI. It was only Mookie Betts who got an RBI. I'm just going to say this gonna now. Win playing like that. You got to get rid of Justin Turner if you're the LA front office. I th- honestly I do th- I don't think he's going to be there whole lot longer. I'm going to check right now to see when his contract is up cuz he's old. He's uh he's, he's 37. Old. Yeah. You got to Which get- shocks me because I don't feel like he's that old. He hides it behind all the behind you the, know, the facial hair. <laughs> it it works for you. That's why I have one. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah. Um. So he is going to be a free agent after next season. Actually, next no. Season. There's a there's a team option with two million dollar buyout. I don't think he's coming back. He's not coming back. If there's a team option, he's not coming back. No. Nope. Nope. I think that the Dodgers need need to tear it down. To be honest, the whole thing. Yes. And they're not Jason. alone. <laughs> he says he's 37, and that hurts. Yeah, thanks, Jason. I'm getting there. I'm 36. <laughs> but, Y'all are old. No, I'm just kidding. I know. <laughs> I'm right but there. No, I, I think it's time to tear down the Dodgers, though. You've got to yeah. you got to start thinking for longer term than this because it if it if it didn't happen with this team, it's not going to happen. I'm and sorry. not in the last what six seasons. 
Well, and they they have what's referred to what everybody, I mean everybody, what people call the Mickey Mouse World Series. You know, they only yeah. the only one they've won in all these years they've been dominant was in 2020. Yeah. And granted, yeah, everybody's exactly. playing in the same circumstances, oh, everything, I agree. but still, it, it makes a difference. And the fact that they have not been able to close the deal is a huge problem. And it's, I think it's Dave Roberts. I think it's, gosh, I don't know. I don't know which of those guys you trade off, but I think you sell off Cody Bellinger for parts. I think you Absolutely. deal, you might need to deal Mookie Betts. Keep Freddie might. Freeman as your centerpiece, but I don't know. You got to blow it up, man. Yeah. So it's not going to get any better. Clayton Kershaw didn't pitch once this postseason. Wow. That's crazy. Is it? Hold on. I'm looking. Wins, losses. Nope. He didn't pitch one time this postseason. Oh, wait. Hold on. One game. Hold on. This, this thing. He pitched five right. innings. He pitched five yeah. innings, gave there up you six go. hits. There Three it runs, is. Six strikeouts with there a 5.40 ERA. There it is. Okay. I was reading the wrong line. Yeah. That's bad. Yeah. But still, you, yeah, you, you got to have better from him than that. But you have to. Anyway, 